Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to LES Matters TV. On this channel, we focus on early childhood, we give parenting tips, and we also review toys. If these are the kind of things you're looking forward to, you have to do subscribe and not just subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so that you'll be the first person to be notified each time a new video is being dropped on this channel. So today I'm going to talk about three steps to moving forward after being unsuccessful at a preschool job interview. Yes. So this discussion is going to be all about the three steps that you have to follow after being unsuccessful at a preschool job interview. Yes, I know this topic is disheartening. Educators don't like to talk about it, but hang on, we have to talk about it because that's just the only way forward. I know as educators, after being called for a job interview, you're optimistic that yes, you're being called. This is your avenue to go and sell yourself so that you can get the job that you've been expectant about. But you need to understand that disappointment often happens. I know, I know. Nobody likes disappointment. You just want to get things your way. You apply for a job, you're being called for an interview, but you just want to get it. But sometimes, if you don't get the job, what's the way forward? What do you have to do? So now let's talk about it. The first step is to ask for feedback. If you're being called for a teacher job interview and you got an email saying you're not successful, that you did not get the job, and gone, don't feel sad. I know, just calm down, relax, and ask for feedback. You are entitled to ask for feedback. Yes, you need to know what went wrong, why you did not get the job. So you could ask the owner of the school, if an email, but in your email, I will advise you to be professional. Yes, don't be aggressive. That I think I, I am the best candidate, I have the qualification, I have the experience. So why did I not get the job? Be formal, be professional in asking for feedback. Type an email, ask them that you would like to know the feedback in, in relation to how the job interview went. What are the things that you did well? What are the things that you need to work on in case you're being called for a sim interview in the future? Yes, I'll tell you they'll be willing to reply you and tell you your strengths and your weaknesses. So don't shy away from asking for feedback. I know it's daunting after you're not successful. You've prepared for the interview and an email saying, oh, we're sorry. Unfortunately, proceed to the next stage. Unfortunately, you're not getting the job. The first important and the most important thing that you have to do is ask for feedback. Do not shy away from asking for feedback. Be professional in relation to asking for feedback. And then the second, you have to reflect. Reassess yourself. You went for the interview yourself. After a few days, after receiving the email that you're unsuccessful, sit down and think about it. What are the things that you did well yourself? Next time, if you're being called for a similar interview, what are the things that you're going to do? How are you going to prepare yourself so that you'll be the right candidate for the job position? So it's important. So you reassess yourself. This is where reflective practice comes in. You reflect. Okay, what went wrong? Why did I not get the job? Are there some questions that I asked that I did not answer well? So search online as well. Go on Google, research. Reassess yourself. So what are the scale of tens yourself for each interview question? Okay, the first question that I was asked, okay, did. Okay, I'll give myself a six out of ten. So do this for all the interviews. And then you can reflect and say, yes, I think this, I need to work more on this area if I'm being called for the, another interview. So then the third thing you have to do is plan towards the next job interview that you're being called for. So plan ahead. If you have other jobs end up, so it's not for you to relax or feel this admin that, oh, even if I go for this interview as well, even to be called, you're going to think bad about yourself. Don't, for other interviews that you have lined up, prep likely questions that you're going to be asked. I've talked about few interview questions that you're likely to be asked at a preschool job interview. I'm going to leave the link down below so you can watch them to get you prepared. So a quick recap about the three steps that you have to follow after being unsuccessful at a preschool teacher interview. First, ask for feedback. Sometimes even maybe the feedback might not, you might not be too comfortable with the feedback. Don't stress yourself too much. The feedback are there to help you to improve. So ask for feedback and work on the feedback so that when you're being called for a similar interview in the future, you know how you're going to do well. Second, you need to reflect and reassess yourself. Okay, you scale yourself. After asking for the feedback, it's now up to you to be sincere and scale yourself. So what went wrong at the job interview? What are the things that I'm going to do well if I'm being called for a similar job interview? And then the last one is plan ahead for other job interviews that you line up. So educators, 
I'm going to encourage you to keep pushing. Do not give up. You're definitely going to get the job. It could just require you to have a little push and do not feel disheartening. So if you have been unsuccessful at a preschool job interview, work on this tip that I've given in this video and I'll tell you the next job you're definitely going to get it. And if you want more of this tip on this channel, what do you have to do? Subscribe and not just subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first person to be notified each time a new video is being dropped. And on this channel, I also have a drawing button. So if you're looking to support me financially in relation to what I do on this channel so that's the blue icon that says join so I have different categories on hip the first one that I specifically have for early years educators are you looking for a mentor are you looking for a coach are you looking for someone that you want them to go on the journey of early childhood with you don't look elsewhere I'm the right candidate because I'm an expert I'm an author and a trainer in the area of early childhood so don't go anywhere I'm the right candidate all you just have to do is click on that join button and sign up for the one that is called early years mentorship until I come your way next time stay safe and mind yourselves for now bye